An 11 year old boy on the phone with 911 barricaded in a bathroom telling the operator that his father is stabbing his mom. Unthinkable. When cops got there and entered the house, they were forced to shoot and kill the boy's father. They discovered the mom was stabbed to death. Cops just released the identity of the now deceased parents. The victim, the boy's mother, 38 year old Rose Blake, his father, 41 year old Medgar Blake, we also just learned he left a lengthy note at the crime scene. Joining me is Robbie Ludwig, psychologist and author of Till Death Do Us Part, Love, Marriage, and the Mind of a Killer Spouse. Great to have you with us. Let's discuss how horrific this is. And when yes. you hear about the note, uh, what does that tell you? That this was premeditated, some mental illness here of a what if note by the father? Well, yeah, the stabbing usually happens as a result of an intimate mm -hmm. act of rage. When you think about how close one needs to be in order to murder someone with a knife. Mm -hmm. And very often the stats show that when you have this kind of marital homicide, there's a long history of abuse. And in some cases, the partner will even state that they have a plan to murder the partner. So very often the victims of these abuse feel fear for their lives or have been told that their life could be cut short. And so it's so devastating for everyone involved and especially for this poor child who had to witness the death of his mother and, and try to prevent it. I, I was speaking to an officer earlier who was at the scene there. He said that there was no history as far as he knew in terms of the police being at the scene. But as mm -hmm. you and I both know, in many cases, the case of Nicole Brown Simpson, some of her closest friends didn't even know. She used makeup to cover up the bruises. So a right. long history of abuse could in fact be there inside of that home that the officers just don't know about because she didn't call them. Absolutely. And there could be a history of, of mental illness. We don't know about uh, drug abuse. There could be a whole lot of factors. Mm -hmm. And the police are not always aware. And sometimes it's the closest, most intimate family members who are aware. Mm -hmm. But these things can erupt very quickly and very often with um, this kind of abuse, there's a lot of shame. And victims of abuse often feel disempowered and are isolated by their partners as part of the abuse, so they don't have anyone to talk to. And, so we right. don't really have a lot of information, but the studies show that when a child witnesses this kind of murder and abuse, it's really imperative for them to get treatment early on so that they can achieve a certain degree of mental health, which is going to be difficult under the circumstances because the scars are far reaching as one can imagine. Yeah, that was my next question on how, where do you even begin with an 11 year old boy? Not only did he witness this, he was forced to call 911 trying to protect his mom. He may mm -hmm. place some of the blame on himself. Uh, do you think the police question him in this investigation or because both of his parents are deceased, are they just moving on in terms of the investigation on his side and helping him cope? Well, I would hope so. And I would imagine that the police is now thinking about where is this child going to live? Mm -hmm. Does he have other supportive family members? who can provide him with a stable upbringing because that is what the child is concerned about. He's concerned about who is he going to live with. There's a stigma of living with one parent killing another parent and pervasive depression and anxiety and as you can imagine post-traumatic stress disorder. So in a way it's good that the police are making an early intervention mm -hmm. where they can direct him to treatment where he can see a trauma specialist where he can begin to work through these issues and they found that although this kind of event is rare thank goodness the kids who are able to regain a solid sense of self-esteem tend to do better in life yeah getting treatment early is key for this poor 11 year old boy Robbie thank you